We touched a nerve with a lot of people in our white wall video. So let's do it again and discuss Model A's and wheel colors. To be clear, whatever color you decide to paint your Model A wheels, that's your decision. It's your car. We don't care. But drop a comment below with your thoughts on different color wheels and why you're either for or against them. While color wheels on a Model A, like white walls, are very common these days, the fact of the matter is that 97.5% of all Model A's came from the factory with black wheels. Doesn't include special orders, which we'll get to in a minute. Every Model A produced in 1928 and 1929 would have been shipped to a dealer with black wheels. We can make such a bold declaration because up until May of 1930, all Model A's rolled off the assembly line with wheels that had been dipped in gloss black enamel. Starting in June of 1930, Ford began to make color wheels on several deluxe models, standard part of the trim. These models included the Deluxe Roadster, the Deluxe Phaeton, the Convertible Sedan, the Deluxe Two-Door, and the Deluxe Four-Door. The color of the wheel was matched to the vehicle's pinstripe color. At the same time color wheels became standard on those deluxe vehicles, Ford also began to offer colored wheels on all passenger vehicles as an accessory or an option. June of 1930 through June of 1931 were black, apple green, Aurora red, orange, or Tacoma cream. September of 1930 through June 31 also added Hessian blue. After June of 1931, you had black, apple green, aurora red, and Tacoma cream. Once color options became available in 1930, dealers would have had to purchase these finished wheels from Ford. This is explained in the July 11, 1930 service letter from the Chicago branch. Quote, We advised you in our weekly service letter of July 3rd that 1930-type Model A wheels could be secured through our service stock at $6 each, subject to 40% discount. The wheels each had their own part suffix based on the color. E for Aurora Red, F for Tacoma Cream, G for Apple Green, and H for Orange. An interesting fact about these wheels is that Ford specified the wheels first be dipped in gloss black and then sprayed their final color. April 10, 1931 service letter, again from Chicago, stated, Colored steel spoke wheels are still standard equipment on the Deluxe Phaeton and Roadster, and may be secured on all other models at an additional charge at the customary car discount when specifically requested at the time the car is ordered. The April 17, 1931 Chicago service letter indicated the price had dropped to $5 per wheel. It goes on further to state that the $5 price was whether the wheels were changed out at the dealer or were installed at the assembly branch. Ford also announced that they would no longer be taking back the old black wheels that had been swapped out by dealers, as these wheels could be used for service sales. But what did dealers do from the beginning of production up until June of 1930 when a customer wanted wheels in a color other than black? Well, they probably offered to paint wheels the preferred color for the customer at an extra cost. While color wheels weren't Ford approved until mid-1930, there are a couple notable Model A's that were the exception to the rule. The very early four-door prototype, which debuted in January of 1928 at the Ford Industrial Exhibition in New York City, was displayed with color wheels matching its unique pinstripe. The original unrestored prototype town car, which was produced in the early spring of 1928, also came with color wheels, but that car was a special build done by LeBaron. Both of these vehicles were prototypes and had other features that never made it to production. So, how many Model A's rolled out of a Ford factory with wheels other than black? That's a number that cannot be determined. When you take the production numbers of the Deluxe Roadster, Deluxe Phaeton, Convertible Sedan, Deluxe Two-Door, and Deluxe Four-Door, you get a combined total of around 120,000 vehicles. There's no known records indicating how many were special ordered with color wheels or how many color wheels were shipped to dealers for install. Whatever color wheel your Model A rides on is okay with us. Variety is the spice of life. Why not let it apply to a Model A? As always, thanks for continuing to watch a Model A.